Hey guys, today I'm gonna give you another bad day of you story. But today's story is gonna be about serving some prison time on a lesson that I learned from Herbie Sperling. Herbie Sperling was a legitimate tough guy. He was a guy from the French Connection back in the day. He was from Harlem. He was a tough little Jew and he served a lifetime in prison. When he got sentenced by a judge, he once told the judge, you don't sentence me, I sentence you. So that's how tough he was. So when I first got to Lewisburg Penitentiary, I was 23 years old. I had Herbie Sperling and Matthew Madonna waiting for me. They put me in Herbie Sperling's block, which was J block, where it was all the way at the end of past the red top. The red top was where all the action happened, where everyone would get stabbed, people would get killed, and you would just keep on walking and mind your business. <clears throat> there was times when we get locked down for days in Lewisburg Penitentiary. Lewisburg Penitentiary had a 50 foot wall with gun towers and it was high security max security prison when i got to j block i was selling with michael perna he was a wise guy out of jersey i sold with chucky flynn he was a street guy out of boston and i also sold with this dominican kid his name was felix so at this time, we decided to make some hooch in our prison cell, me and Felix. Now, J Block had three tiers. You had the first tier, the second tier, and the third tier. On the third tier was a guy by the name of Joe Gallo out of Ohio. He was a boss from the Cleveland family. Herbie was on the first tier. He had a cell there, and there was a couple other guys in J Block too. But Lewisburg, going back, all the memories that I had, they were really great times. We had the stingers where you would put in a big bucket and boil water with pasta, and we would make sauce through a microwave, and you would have to get online to cook. But we also had irons where you could make grilled cheeses and stuff like that. But getting to this story with Herbie Sperling, this is when he taught me a lesson in life. Me and Felix were making hooch. Hooch is a, a liquor that you form. You put sugar in a big bag and you get all kinds of fruits and you put it in a bag and you make a ferment. What we did was we hid it in our cell while it was fermenting, and as you hide it, the bag gets bigger and bigger until it gets into a liquor form, and you drink it, and it's like buying liquor out of the store. You add sugar and fruits, you close the bag, and it ferments, and it becomes a form of a hooch, a liquor. So me and the kid Felix, this is what we did one day, and so the guards eventually are roaming the block. They come in our cell and they find the hooch that we are making. We end up getting caught and they put us in the hole, me and Felix. Herbie Sperling comes to my rescue. At, at our meet where you have the counselor that judges you and they're gonna give you your sentence, whether it's gonna be 30 days in the hole or you're gonna do some cleanup time, meaning you have to mop the floors and sweep the floors. So when I went to that meeting with the counselor, they judge you and they judge you by the ticket. They write up a ticket on you saying you did hooch, they found hooch in your cell and they explain what the penalty is, how much time you're gonna get, 
and stuff like that. So Herbie Sperling actually came to that meeting to defend me. I used him to talk for me this day in time. And Herbie is sitting there and I'm saying, I said, well, listen, you know what? Just keep me in the hole. I don't care what you do to me. That was my attitude at the age of 23, 24 years old. I don't care. I'm doing the time. Leave me that fuck alone. Who cares? So Herbie Spillin corrects me and he, and he jumps in and he says, no. He says, you know what you're going to do? He says, you're going to do what they tell you you're going to do. So what they want to do is they want to give me 30 days sweeping and mopping the red top throughout the whole tear. So I'm listening to Herbie and I'm not going to argue with him because Herbie was Herbie Spillin. The guy's a legend in jail and he's standing up and talking for me. So he says, what you're going to do is you're going to take this time. You're going to use this 30 days. You're going to sweep and mop the floors, he says, because that's going to build character as you're doing it. And looking back, the things he said, was he was right. It did build character. I swept and mopped those floors for 30 days. And that built character. And as I swept and mopped those tears, I was out on the red top and outside of the prison cell where I could also help other guys pass a kite and give a note to someone else that needed it. So they wanted to pass a kite from J block to A block. And I could also visit Maddie, Madonna at times and pass by his cell and I could give a message to Herbie or whatever they needed to do or pass maybe uh, some food over to someone else. So I learned a lesson that day. And my lesson was, you know what? You could do more with your freedom than you can sitting in a cell for 30 days. And that was Lewisburg Penitentiary and those were the guys that I was around. So every day was a lesson in prison. That day, I learned a good lesson from Herbie Sperling. And the lesson was building character and you're going to learn throughout your course of time of who you are and how you're going to use your time to your advantage and better yourself. And as I was doing that time, there was a lot of guys I was around in Lewisburg Penitentiary, and they taught me a lot of lessons. I was with Frankie Lesterino. Uh, Michael Perna was a sweetheart of a guy. Matty Madonna put me underneath his wing. But Herbie Sperling was a real character. He was a real tough guy, legitimate tough guy. And there's a lot of things I used to do errands for him. He would give me a bag of cigarettes or a big thing of stamps. And he used to take action inside the prison. And he would use me as a runner. And I would run his cigarettes and his stamps to other people, whether I had to pay them off or collect the debt. And then I would bring it back to Herbie. So he used me as a tool. And I also used him as a tool. He showed me how to do prison time. And he taught me a lot of lessons while I was a kid. And I thank him very much for giving me those lessons. Because at the age of 23, when you're in a maximum security prison and you're really just starting to find out about yourself, you need guys like that to give you direction. And these guys gave me a lot of direction inside of prison. But that's a bad day of new story for today. Until next time, my next story, I'm gonna start talking about the Bay Parkway kids and how this beef started between us, the Bath Avenue crew, and Bay Parkway. I hope you enjoyed this story. I was 23 years old when I went to Lewisburg Penitentiary. If you like this story, subscribe to my channel, Jimmy Calandra, a Bath Avenue story. 
Thank you guys for your support. I love the subscribers. Keep on subscribing. You're the best. Thank you a lot. See you soon. Bye.